Okay, you don't see this every day. This is a super clean little probe. It's a, I think it's the SE model. Um, great condition. <coughs> Very straight car, black. Hard to find them straight in this kind of model year, let alone find them in black. Um, I'm gonna have to look on the year. I believe it's a 94 probe. Beautiful car. I love the, yeah, I love the wrap around bubble top glass. The way it just kind of, the hatch comes into the, oh man. These are cool little cars. Um, I don't remember the US Highway EPA ratings or whatever. I believe it's well in the high 20s. It's a manual car. I'm going to go up close and show you any kind of damages or any kind of minor imperfections. A lot of rock chips on the front. You can almost repaint that front skirt there. Bumper cover. Um, a lot of rock chips. Um, very straight. There's a, a ding right here. The tires are okay. There's probably 30%, not 20% left. Insides are a little bit more worn than the outsides. The wheel wells are just amazingly clean. Factory Ford hubcaps. This car gets a set of 18 inch with low profile. Oh, doggy, that look good. Love all the body lines on these cars. Um, a few little chips and spots in the paint on the side. And on the roof, there's a wear spot there. Chips and some miscellaneous chips around. On the other side too. All the glass is good. There's a chip type thing on the bumper. A couple of chips along the back here. I just want to show you anything on this that I see. Oh, I remember over here there's a crack. Hope you can see that in the light right there. Um, everything on it works. The it's a ding right here. Like you maybe just, I don't know. Hope you can see that. It's hardly noticeable. It's a black car. And it's just straight as can be. Door ding here. Door ding here. The seal's a little dry here. It's fine still. Up top, like I say, there's just a couple little areas. And that's about it on the outside. A couple scuffs. I guess you'd call them. Can't really see them from a ways back. A little scratch right there. Oops. Sorry about that. I still got the tag on this thing. A couple areas where the paint's missing there. A good buff would probably take care of a lot of it. I'm going to go ahead and show you the inside now. The door panels are in great condition. Um, floors are in great condition. No floor mats for it. Seats, a little chewed up there. And the lumbar support from getting in and out and rubbing over it. Oh, right there. Um, let me get a copy of this here. Video of it, I guess, not a copy. Um, the door panel, there's a screw missing here, which is making it a little loose. It's a little loose in here. And these two here are missing. And there's a clip missing down there. You know how these Ford clips are not a little tighter, but getting these screws in it would be a little nicer. Manual windows. Ain't nothing to go wrong with this car. Five speed. Um, that's missing the cover for the seatbelt. Dash is great condition. A little discoloration the way these mirrors get. I mean, it's a classic car. I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down here and get closed in here. We'll start it up for you. Starts and runs great. Show 128 to 11. There's a warning for the door ajar. Now the door is ajar. Nope. Oh, it's telling me to put my seatbelt on. Gotcha. 
wonder if it actually goes out. I'm gonna try that. Tell me my brake's on. Okay, no warning lights. The, um... This here just doesn't work. Probably a fuse. Blood box, clean it there. I don't have the owner's manuals or nothing. I'm gonna hop out of this and get out of my seatbelt here. This one's chipped here too, that's where you know. Very clean car. This this here is a little funky and could either be fixed or ordered off eBay for five, ten bucks. Um, sun visors all work. Oh, the cover's missing off of that one. I want to make sure and show you the roof here. The headliner is a little bit chewed up and hanging right here. Maybe he was carrying something in it, and which is highly possible because, like you see, I have the seats laid down here, and it is very easy to throw stuff in here and carry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and you know, I'm gonna turn this off. You'll have to excuse me here. I want to make sure and show you everything. And getting back here and lifting this up is a cool, neat part to show you. This can either raise, this part here can either raise with it or stay down. All kinds of stuff. Let me show you the spare tire thing. Hope I'm not getting my tag. I probably am. I think there's a piece of um, cardboard type board that's supposed to be under there that's missing, possibly. Um, the little clip here, like this one, is missing. It allows you to hold that up. Everything's functional here, it's just missing that part. This is hanging a little loose. This here is a little loose because it's missing the clip here and here. And you know, this piece here being broken makes me believe that it's probably <clears throat> a piece in there missing that's supposed to cover that spare tire. Um, other than that, clean as can be. I'm going to go ahead and flip the seats up. Now I'm going to restart this, pop the hood, flip the seats up, show you the back seat. Good runner. I like these little probes when they're good runners. I used to deal with them a little bit when I, they were newer. Just don't get the chance anymore because I don't find nothing this clean anywhere. Lots of space and really easy to flip the seats up. You just pull this little button up here and flip them right down. A couple burn holes, I believe, probably, in there. Floors are great. Back of the seats is great. I like these old cars a lot. And I get on here and you only got 10 minutes for YouTube. And I run past 10 minutes all the time. Um, the window crank on this side is missing. Um, and the... Whoa! Whoa! Ah, whoa! Ow. I'm just kidding. Hey, scare somebody away from buying it because I'm messing around. It wasn't even that funny. Um, underneath the hood, we have, you have to excuse my camera here, there we go, comes right away, great, oh, I love the front end of these, the real MR2 Spider, kind of just, I don't know man, they're just cool looking, do overhead cam, 16 valve, little 4 cylinder, it's really powerful in this light little car, mechanic is what you want to see here. I mean, look at this. It's an original mile car. And it's been properly maintained. It seems to me. All the fluids are up and I mean everything's just right under here. There's a factory vent tag. Check out my site, cerealmarshmallows.com. Click on blog, you can see a lot of the other stuff I have for sale. Give me a call with any questions. My name's Nathan, it's 406-544-6919. I'm out of time here. Thank you for watching, and make sure and subscribe to me.